For this, practice it self-check. Exercise, we are asked to write a method called count quarters. So we'll start by doing a public static void count quarters. And this is the syntax we have so far. It takes an int representing a number of cents. So in our parameters, we'll write int cents. And it returns the number of quarter coins representing by that many cents. So we're going to change this. It needs to be a return statement of type int. So we'll have a int there and we'll write return right here because we will be returning something. We need to follow these rules here that it's giving us. Basically, it's saying that um, we cannot count whole dollars. So if, if we're given the number 64 in cents, it would return 2 because 2 quarters make up 50 cents. And we'll have 14 left over, which we won't do anything with. But if we have 100 or 1,278, we would return only three because that'd be $12 taken out and three quarters remaining for 75 cents. So to do this, we can look at this bigger number right here because this is going to be the biggest problem. And what we can do is take cents because that's where the number will be and take the modulus of it to 100 because 100 is a dollar. And if we do this, we'll be left with the remainder 78. And all we have to do, since it's of type int, is divide this by 25. And this will give us the answer after we put our semicolon. And as we can see, we have passed all the tests. So this is the code that will do this problem.